the election commission has to be independent that's what the supreme court of india has said the top court has said that the panel must pick the poll panel chief prime minister the leader of opposition chief justice of india to pick the chief election commissioner unanimous judgment by the top court you'd remember that there was a litigation that was ongoing at the supreme court of india when it comes to the election of the chief election commissioner the manner in which he is appointed and that entire debate ensued at the supreme court of india these are orders which are being passed prime minister leader of opposition chief justice of india there's a particular method which is enshrined in the constitution under which the chief election commission is appointed i want to first cut across to my colleague ananya who's with us on the broadcast ananya tell us more about this order this litigation and who had filed this petition well you know uh, these were a batch of petitions that were filed before the top most of the country in the constitution bench was dealing with this particular issue with regards to the independence of the election commission of india and the process of appointment of election commissioners and the chief election commissioner on the supreme court five judges bench today gave two uh, separate verdicts however the both of them are unanimous in nature uh, wherein uh, a judgment was re- rendered by justice uh, uh uh the tm joseph and a separate judgment was rendered by justice ajay stogi uh by justice uh, uh the tm joseph spoke for all of the other judges except for justice rastogi justice rastogi uh, had his own view now what uh, uh justice tm uh, uh, joseph uh, yeah. uh, led the bench basically said was that the independence is very very necessary of the appointment of you know uh, in fact of the election commission and the chief election commissioners and the same shall be done by way uh, by by the president of india on the advice of a committee that should be headed uh, uh, that should have uh, the prime minister the chief justice of india and also the leader of opposition while uh, justice rastogi while agreeing with the views of justice kem joseph and other judges on the bench added that the process of removal of uh, you know uh, these uh, the election commissioners the chief election the, the election commissioners shall be same as that of the cec which is by way of impeachment uh, is what uh, justice ajay rastogi has said a big judgment coming in from the top most part of the country for the independence of the appointment of election commissioner and the ccs and if you remember that this is almost the same process as, by which a cbi director is actually uh, you know Uh, um, 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 uh, is elected and that's why uh, this is a panel that would now be considering the appointments of the CEC and the EC and now uh, the president of India would be taking the advice of this particular panel to appoint a chief election commissioner or a election commissioner in fact okay. the supreme court made various observations uh, when it comes to uh, Uh, independence of judiciary and I'll read down some of those uh, w- w- which has been given out by um, justice uh, you know uh, kem joseph justice joseph say that the hallmark of a substantial and a liberal democratic uh, democracy must be born in mind democracy is an hmm. inextricably linked to the power of the people the hmm. power of the ballot is supreme capable of unseating the most powerful party says justice joseph he also goes on to say that democracy can achieve only when the governing party attempts to uphold its letter and Spirit, and Ananya, look at the look at the timing of it. Today is the day we are discussing election in three <laughs> crucial northeastern states. 2023 has just be- begun, and this is going to be a very important year for many big states across the country, including Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, which will see elections in the in the later part of the year. My colleague Arunima with us on the broadcast. Arunima, what more can you tell us? So Ananya just told us about the verdict from the Supreme Court. We are waiting for any reaction uh, from the government side because this will be called a big setback. for the government uh, what was being alleged uh, is that uh, that uh, you know appointment this is the allegation that was coming in from uh, the opposition that constitutional bodies including the, the likes of the election commission were getting compromised this was a constant allegation that was being made by opposition so they will hail it as as a victory and they will definitely paint this as a setback for the government but is there any other legal legal recourse available that the government is considering uh, this was a constitutional bench a five judge bench which has come up uh, with this verdict and it has just told us that this was a unanimous anonymous verdict uh, the only only difference in opinion was that should this be limited only to the appointment of the cec or should this also be in place if a if an election commission has to be removed the only background that we can think of a precedent that we can think of in recent past um, is that of uh, election commissioner lavasa uh, who was uh, moved out before his tenure ended and in that case also uh, finger pointing was done charges were uh, done that That's because right. he gave yeah. Uh, 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 an opinion which was not favorable to the government was he subsequently removed so that uh, opposition had raked into an issue then also uh, so, so this verdict in a in a way uh, will have to be considered by the government and its legal team uh, to decide the impact of it 
um you, you know and we we were just talking about how this is coming on a day when northeastern states are telling us about their mandate mm-hmm. and we are running up to assembly elections in crucial states and then to the 2024 general elections so in that backdrop what changes what is it that the government is planning we're just waiting for them to tell us Okay, Arun, but we'll just request you to stay on with us. We'll request Ananya also to stay on with us. We have Majid Memon of the TMC now joining us. So good to have you on the broadcast with us. How do you see the decision that's coming from the top court, essentially pushing for more transparency? A full bench decision from Supreme Court is uh, most appropriately timed, and it has come when probably our Indian democracy needed it very badly. because all these years for the past particularly last eight to nine years what we have been watching is that the election commission seems to be leaning on the ruling side they are all always ready to oblige and please the ruling party which unfortunately is not the election commission is carved out for we have as opposition been pointing out to the election commission time and again number of occasions came when we made representation I remember there was a representation made by the entire opposition, which constituted more than 60% of the people's mandate of the 2019 last general election. Yet the election commission was leaning on the 30% of the polling uh, ruling side and then decided in their favour. Uh, Mr. Chairman, sorry, I'm interrupting you there. Also. Trying, trying to keep it strictly legal, and I'd, I'd like if you can don the hat of a lawyer and tell us more about this. the present process that the supreme court is prescribing vis-a-vis what existed earlier can you contrast that uh, for us and more importantly how drastic of a departure it, it is from the earlier practice because that's the moot story here as, as far as as far as the constitutional mandate is concerned supreme court is right in saying that even the appointment of election commission cannot be just at the mercy of the ruling party that they can just pull somebody and put in there on the seat Yeah. yeah of course that system of uh, lop's role cgi's role is just secondly the functioning of election commission has to be transparent it must in, uh, enjoy the confidence of the people of this country not the just uh, ruling party which unfortunately was what has been experienced mr majid memon getting us all that perspective this is a big order coming in from the supreme court of india it will have direct bearing in the manner in which the chief election commissioner is appointed are uh, the political voices that we have seen in the election season come on the election commission and of course much more to follow in the days to come we'll continue tracking that story and all that's happening in the northeastern state